I would say that I'm shocked that I'm making this video, but I really am not shocked that I'm making this video. As a matter of fact, when I initially heard that the Houston Rockets traded Chris Paul for Russell Westbrook, I accepted that this was going to be an experiment and this could have been a realistic possibility. Now, before we get to everything, guys, really quickly, I am starting an NFL channel, which is very similar to the NBA news that I run on this channel. It's called Microphone. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. And also, I've been getting hit with some copyright claims lately, guys. So in the event that something fishy happens to my YouTube channel, I still want to get content out to you guys. So I'm going to be uploading some of my content onto Instagram TV. If you guys want to support me over there, a link to that's in the description down below. But my Instagram account is at the flight mic. Same with my TikTok, guys. I'm going to start posting TikToks as well. It's also at the flight mic. And finally, if you see a lot of my content get recommended to you and you're here all the time but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet please take a minute to subscribe and turn on my notifications because as soon as i hit 500,000 subscribers i will be going full-time on youtube or if i hit 50,000 people with my post notice on it means a lot to me guys now Let's talk about Russell Westbrook really quickly because it seems like every other week I am coming out with a brand new thing about Russell Westbrook, whether the Rockets should trade him, whether it's working out with him and James Harden. And I believe more recently, after what happened on Christmas, a lot of people are thinking, dang, Russell Westbrook and James Harden aren't that good together. Now, one of the best parts about my channel, and I'm sure a lot of you guys agree, is we don't just strictly deal with numbers we go beyond the numbers and beyond the statistics but i would be remiss if i didn't at least show you guys the houston Rockets stats with russell westbrook this year russell westbrook believe it or not despite not having the game 100 percent revolve around him anymore despite him not being the number one focal point of the offense anymore he is still averaging more points per game this year than he did last year the only way his numbers have dipped is instead of averaging a triple double instead of averaging you know 10 assists and 11 rebounds per game he now averages seven assists and eight rebounds per game which considering the fact that he is on a team with one of the greatest stat patterns and i mean that respectively because i think james harden's game is awesome but some guy that just destroys the stat sheet that is still very impressive russell westbrook is still getting his despite playing one less minute per game each and every game his field goal percentage is practically identical to last year he's shooting 42 if you want to go beyond like even deeper he's shooting 4.426 from the field as opposed to last year he shot 0.428 he's pretty much who the rockets thought he was he is exactly the player that he thought he was now the only critique i've ever had of russell westbrook fitting into the houston Rockets scheme and I figured Mike D'Antoni understood this is who what this is what he was getting. You're not going to be able to change a player once you get him, especially once he's 31 years old in this stage of his career. Is the fact that he's a very pedestrian to below average three point shooter. Last year he shot 29% from the uh, from three point land. The year before he shot 30% from three-pointer and the year before that this is very strange this was a crazy outlier he shot 34 percent in his mvp year and i guess that's why he won mvp now there's no reason why his three-point shot hasn't been falling i'm assuming he just hasn't been working on it as much i'm sure if you guys follow lebron james you also would notice a similar trend it's, it's a very remarkable concept that even I, as an NBA fan, still can't wrap my head around it. But LeBron has years, for example, his 2013 Miami, oh, his 2013 season with the Miami Heat, he had a year where he shot 41% from the field. But a mere three years later with the Cleveland Cavaliers, he shot 30% from three-point land. So... And if you fast forward to this past year with the Lakers, he shot 34% from three. I guess it's one of those things that if you don't come into the league with a consistent three-point jumper, you're not going to consistently have high three-point shooting years. You're going to have some up years and some down years, which is a phenomenon to me because you would think once you work on something, it would stay there for good. But I digress, guys. I wanted to tell you that is the only issue with Russell Westbrook on the Houston Rockets in terms of fit. If you see the Houston Rockets starting five, everybody on that starting lineup could shoot the three ball except for Russell Westbrook and Clint Capella, which makes you wonder, hey, 
I understand that Daryl Morey is obsessed with James Harden. He believes that James Harden is the greatest offensive player of all time. And he is one of the top offensive players of all time. I don't know if he is the greatest offensive player of all time. In fact, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But now we're beginning to see Russell Westbrook in trade rumors. And we got to get down to the source. The source is Ryan Rossillo of the Ringer Podcast Network. He doesn't have the greatest history of being a credible source, but this is where we're getting this info from. And I'm going to leave it to you guys to interpret, and I'm going to give you my interpretation. And it goes like this. He says, is Daryl Morey actively calling people saying, I got to dump Westbrook? No, of course he wouldn't do it like that. But there are people who believe that Russell Westbrook is available and that Daryl knows that he's got to figure something out here and it's about the contract more than somebody watching Westbrook which is exactly going back to my video and I still have this video up you guys could go and take a look at it going back to my video where I analyzed this trade Russell Westbrook for Chris Paul I said there's two major issues with this trade one that the Houston Rockets are only marginally improving their team by dumping Chris Paul for Russell Westbrook marginally meaning yes russell westbrook is the better player yes russell westbrook dishes more assists grabs more rebounds scores more points but he doesn't have a higher per he isn't as effective from the field and when it comes to his three-point shooting chris paul is shooting 39 percent from three this year chris paul is in my opinion a better playmaker chris paul is a better complement to james harden and most importantly of all Chris Paul has a way, way better contract than Russell Westbrook. And what I'm saying here is I do believe that the Houston Rockets, and I'm not going to keep playing Captain Hindsight, I do believe the Houston Rockets were a little bit trigger happy when it came to this trade because Russell Westbrook's contract is on the books until the 2023 season. Chris Paul's contract is off the books after the 2022 season, which means that this contract hit Chris Paul at the very worst is an expiring contract at the end of next year, which is why the OKC Thunder aren't trading him yet, by the way. They understand next year, Chris Paul is going to have an amazing contract, one of the more tradable contracts in the league. It's not going to be that hard to offload Chris Paul. Russell Westbrook, on the other hand, is a player that's a fairly high usage player. He is getting up there in age. His best years, in my opinion, are behind him. And his contract is pretty much an extension of Chris Paul's. Now, regardless, the trade was made and the Rockets did get marginally better. But are the Rockets that much better this year than they were in the, uh, last year? No. It was just a trade that I believe Daryl Morey made because he saw so much player movement this past offseason. He saw the fact that Chris Paul and James Harden couldn't make it over the hump and beat the Golden State Warriors despite being at full health. And I believe Daryl Morey completely misdiagnosed the problem. If you go back to that 2017 playoff series where literally the Houston Rockets were a game seven away from winning the Western Conference Finals if they had Chris Paul, there was one factor that year that they had that year that they lost the year after. Going back to the 2017 to 2018 season, if you look at the Houston Rockets entire team, they were significantly deeper. They had players, great role players such as Trevor Ariza, you got players like Gerald Green, you had players like Joe Johnson, Luke Richard Mbamute that could switch on to players. You had players that were extremely versatile and great defenders on that team. The issue with the Rockets isn't from the top. It isn't the star power. It isn't the ability to score. You have James Harden. You know he's a great playmaker. And if you want to give him a complimentary piece so he doesn't get tired out, that's fine. But that is not the reason why the Rockets didn't make a deep run last year. If you take a look at their roster the year after, they lost players like Luke Richard Mbamute. They lost Trevor Ariza. And they tried to replace him with the likes of Kenneth Fareed and Michael Carter Williams and Carmelo Anthony. And Carmelo Anthony's literally the opposite of Luke Richard Mbamute. He's literally the opposite of Trevor Ariza. He's a great offensive player, but he doesn't give you that defense. And when you're the Houston Rockets, the one thing that they have going for themselves is offense. And they're so good offensively that they have a tendency to sacrifice defense. But when the Rockets play defense and they have players that commit to defense, that's when they're at their best. 
That's why I think the Chris Paul trade was a foolish trade. That was not the issue for the Rockets. And I feel like if they want to trade Russell Westbrook again, Russell Westbrook isn't the problem. It's not the problem at all. The role players are the problem. If they want to listen to offers for Russell Westbrook's contract, that's fine. Should they be hunting for a trade? No. Do I think they're hunting for a trade? No. But if the right trade does come calling, will the Houston Rockets pick up and try to execute the trade? Possibly, but I don't really think you want such a huge shakeup in the middle of the season, especially if you're doing fairly decent, save for Christmas time. 